Good morning to everyone, all my friends, subscribers, and everyone else viewing. How are you all doing? Today, it's very early in the morning on a Tuesday. This is the uh, Niemeyer Station in the Antarctic. And I keep an eye on this thing, and I can guarantee you if you come and watch this webcam, which there are three that I know of, you can certainly see some really freaky stuff that goes on in this place. <clears throat> it's supposed to be a research facility. Uh, I think they try and pass it off as doing a lot of atmospheric research. Um, I've looked at some pictures in their gallery and what we see when it's daylight, what this facility will look like is not actually all that's there. Um, they've, they've got stuff underground. It's just covered up by snow or snow hides where the, the ramp is. And they have some large snow moving machinery with some uh, pretty big grates on the front to move that stuff around. So they're equipped very well. And they have uh, conveniently made hidden storage so to speak but they are underground as much as above ground uh, with some of the things that they have well, let's take a look at uh, what we saw here today and I'm going to go pretty slow and just step it meaning advance it frame by frame now this is frame one and it's currently 1026 UTC time and we already see it's dark and there's something bright to the this area of the facility we can see the lights on here here and here uh, some may be from just the lights of the occupants inside and some of it may be just from the shine of whatever that bright light is coming from. Oh, well, here we go. See what we already see. We had more lights here. We stepped it once. Something kind of went off here. Twice, something went off here. And something's getting a little dimmer. see something underneath of here but you can't quite make out what it is but whatever was real bright and it looks like it's shining from from over here somewhere or we can't can't see we're now at 520 UTC on the counter and you see a little action going over here on this lighting so this is constant here it looks to me but somebody inside of here is turning the lights on and off there's one that went on and there's some at the back that went off Well, we've seen something there. See how we go at 8 o'clock UTC. Frame 49 to 50 now. And it lightens up. Now it's starting to get lighter in 10, you know, just 10 minutes. Then by 8.30, we really got some, some light on the subject. You can see the horizon and the snow and everything is lit up in the skyline. There's still something shining from somewhere on this side. And then boom, it's 850. 
and then 10 minutes later all of a sudden whatever was there flashed kind of slacked down a little bit see now it looks like it's all under here It almost looked like smoke, and this looks like they're having a big uh, windstorm during the snow, blowing snow everywhere. These, to me, are the lights on top of the facility that you'll see here as they come through this snow blow. you see a few lights starting to come on must be at 1540 UTC and then there's this in the horizon behind it or it kind of looks like it's behind it you see that brightness and then it starts flashing again getting brighter and then boof what is that you can't tell look at that it's huge whatever it is it looks it's got shape to it you know if that's the Sun well it's big <laughs> and it's bright Or at 17:30. See, let's go back and see when all this real big brightness started. We'll keep good track of the time. 16:20. Then we go back up to where we were, and we're already an hour later. That's 17:20. Well, look at that. <laughs> That's 1800. That's a little over an hour and a half. <clears throat> Remember that, that's 1800. Look how much light that puts out. And in 1840, yeah, I guess that's a little different camera angle. 1840, that's a little different angle, it looks bigger. And it brightens up at 1850. It's pretty constant. And then all of a sudden, by 20, a little over three and a half, and all of a sudden decides to go to sleep or something, and dim out. or go down and then boom that's 2100 and then we get the big bazunga flash again and you see underneath the facility it's either it's either something from the underground in that facility or something behind it, to what it looks like. And those are all the frames from what they have so far today. <clears throat> if you come here though, you can see all kinds of stuff like, like that strange flashing gigantic booms or whatever they are whenever all that that light just flashes you can also see more than one large bright object there's also strange looking stars and uh, even things that look like planets 
it might be a place you'd like to come and watch these little movies and see what's happening up there. Now, I have a few pictures that I had taken with my camera that I hadn't uh, seen in a while because I hadn't actually took them out of the camera. So, my bad. But, uh, anyhow, let's go look at them here. I got to looking at them. <coughs> Excuse me. And I saw some, uh, well, familiar things. <clears throat> See, we have the uh, familiar pattern of one, two, three, and then you have your one here, and you have one even back here. Well, I haven't seen Orion. I used to see Orion about seven o'clock. Um, I believe that was last summer. So, it has been a long while since I've seen it on the same time period. And I don't really, I guess I have to be inside working or something. So it's possible this is Orion. But I haven't checked the time or the location of the horizon where it should be at the time that I was photographing this. But I noticed something else kind of strange in it. I thought it was a smudge on my screen. I thought it was a smudge on my camera, but I looked at it and it's perfect and clean. So I'm going to blow this up a little bit and we're going to go through some of these oddities that I found in the photos again, whatever the oddities turned out to be. You can see I'm pointing at this little, whatever it looks like, this little smudgy gray looking thing. You can't really tell what it is. You just wonder, what is it? You know, how these little glitches get in the photo, I don't know. So I'm not real sure what that was in the photo. But it was kind of far in the background. And at least what it looked like faint. So I saw that. And this is the next photo I took directly after that and I pointed almost the same area but not quite. And right there is that little thingy again. But not quite as prevalent and it's kind of moved and it wasn't the same look to it. I mean, it's just got some strange little weird look. Well I can't really tell what what that is. But again, it's just something that showed up in the the picture in the background whenever I wasn't even really paying attention just thought it was something on the screen and this one is a little bit different <clears throat> this one has got some orbs in it right around here you see they're real real faint so they're far in the background they must be and they're not everywhere they seem to be just right around there I can see this one right here 
you got another little little small one right here smaller than that other one now this one here is another one of the strange weird looking can't tell you what it is shape thing now this is really it looks like a kind of like a S shape in, in this photo I don't know how good you guys are going to be able to see this but it looks, uh, I hate to say it, but it looks kind of like snaky like sort of if I blow it up again I don't think it's going to be very good pixel definition oh there's one that's one higher so I don't know if you can see that that good see it's got a goes down like that and kind of curves it's weird This one here is another one oh, that had an orb in it. Now what I, I'm pointed a whole different direction on this one. <clears throat> this one here I'm, I'm more to the uh, northwest. It doesn't look like I got what I aimed at. Look like I got something I came out with but I didn't see it. Those are no stars that came out. I was aimed at a certain star. See? I don't know if you can see that, but there's an orb or something there. I'm going to blow it up and try and get it over here where you can look at it. See? Right there. Some little orb. I mean, it's got definition and shape to it. It seemed like I would be aiming at a, a star or something I saw that looked real bright. But I'm not seeing anything like this. So... I'm starting to lose some definition here. I'm going to try one more. That's about as defined as I can keep it. If I go one more, I'm sure it's going to blur out. Yeah. So you can't even really make out what's going on there. But I just wanted to show you those pictures and then show you the oddities at what's up at the Niemeyer station in the Antarctica. We have some earthquake activity throughout, as we always do. The usual regions. The usual magnitudes they seem to be in the ranges of. So I hope everyone has uh, got that first day out of the week, of the week, excuse me, out of the way. Monday's usually the toughest for me, but I took today off. <laughs> oh, sorry. Anyhow, I'm glad we got to talk, and I got to show you a few things. And I ask the Lord to bless everyone and keep everybody safe. And keep the faith and keep you strong. We're getting ready to move into August. Uh, so, we're plodding right along. You know, we're, we're just taking things as they come and dealing with them 
as they come. So you all do the best you can. And uh, those night skies are full of things. Just keep looking up there and you're going to find something. You know, I find little things like this somehow, sometimes. And I'm not planning on it. But they just pop up. So, that's about all I have for right now. I mean, Lord, keep all of us safe. Because I got a feeling it's going to get kind of rough here in the next few weeks. Looks like they're going to play out this debt. Um, add one little thing here. Looks like they're going to play out this debt all the way to the max. And this is Tuesday. Uh, don't be su don't be surprised at all if they play this all the way till Friday, and then maybe make some big heroic thing of staying in session into the wee hours of Saturday to get it done to save everything from catastrophe. Just uh, be ready for anything is all that we can say. There's so much happening. It's hard to keep up with it all. It seems like if you take your eye off of the the game for half a second you've missed something. So everybody uh, just do the best you can Ask God to help you. Have faith in Him. Trust Him. He's not going to let you down. He's going to have your back. And with that, I'll go ahead and close it out. And say, uh, until next time, keep looking up.